By February 26, the U.S. 7th Corps began fighting Iraq's Republican Guard. At a map coordinate designated 73 Easting, a U.S. troop ran directly into a brigade of the elite Talwakana Division. In the middle of a sandstorm with no air support, nine M1A1s faced a brigade arrayed in textbook defensive position. By any reasonable calculation, the Americans didn't stand a chance. I decided to go to what's called a tank's lead formation, where the tanks move through the scouts and take the, take the lead of the troop. We had been moving through what was a relatively flat and featureless desert, and what I didn't realize is that my tank was moving up a very slight rise in the terrain. After we crested that rise and came down on the other side, the whole enemy position really came into view. And I was up out of the hatch at the time and just scanned quickly with the naked eye, and I could count eight T-72s in dug-in positions or behind mounded up, uh, mounded up dirt. Simultaneously with that, my gunner, who was moving the turret back and forth to detect enemy vehicles, yelled, identify tanks. So I began to yell, fire, fire, Sabo, fire, fire, Sabo, with Sergeant Coe screaming on the way, the gun, uh, the gun erupted. Green and white are the call signs of my two tank platoons, who I you know, was, uh, was hoping to see rather rapidly on either flank of my tank to, 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 uh, so that we could assault this position together. Uh, it took them just a few seconds to get up abreast of, of my tank, about 10 seconds actually. In that 10 second span, we were able to get off two additional rounds to the first round that we fired. And our, our loader was an exceptional loader and could load around about every three seconds. Six to nine seconds later, we had two other rounds out. Three enemy tanks were then in flames and burning. Well, the two tank platoons crested the ridge almost simultaneously, and immediately eight other enemy armored vehicles were in flames. The Iraqis fought back to no avail. The nine M1A1s and 12 Bradleys of Eagle Troop swept through the brigade, blasting away at all available targets. They destroyed 28 tanks, 16 personnel carriers, and 39 trucks in 23 minutes, with no American losses. What struck me was how quickly it, it occurred. And if you get the jump on the enemy in the desert and are able to fire first with nine M1A1 tanks that don't miss, firing around every three seconds, very rapidly, you can break the enemy's back to the point where he just can't recover from it. Once we started shooting, um, it didn't really set in. It was more like an, of an adrenaline rush. All our instincts took over. We didn't really have time to think. If we had time, if we sat and thought about something, we probably would have been dead. After the ceasefire campaign, we sat back and we sort of thought to ourselves, wow, you know, we just killed X many of people. The way I consoled myself and my crew is, is either them or us. And once we thought of that in that perspective, it was easier to deal with.